Welcome to the Chaos's podcast, proudly distributed exclusively by Heavy Magazine, the Southern Hemisphere's largest metal publication. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. I will be being interviewed by Janobi, aka Michael Jamon, um, who will be asking me a few questions about our live single that dropped on Wednesday, Smash the Rail. G'day Mike, how you doing? Good, how about yourself? Yeah, not too bad brother. I hear you got some questions for me. Yeah, sweet. So yeah, the writing of Smash the Rail was before I was in the band. So can you talk a bit about what was the inspiration behind the track? Uh, I don't know. When when I was ex- first exposed to, I, I suppose, what's called bro step, um, which is kind of the, the American version of dubstep, uh, I just saw like a massive synergy between, um, between dubstep and hardcore and metal. Like I just saw a, a crossover. I saw that the, the dubstep kids were essentially dressing like hardcore kids of the mid 2000s with all, all black back cap, backpacks with the caps and they were all basically just headbanging and they had circle pits and I was like, well, has, why has nobody put this you know, together that metal and dubstep are so you know, synergetic basically. Um, and yeah, that, that's pretty much it. That's, that, that's, where the, that's where the song came from. Nice, yeah. And what, what's the idea behind smash the rail as a term? What does that mean? So smash the rail uh, is a term that's used in dubstep. Uh, and it, it basically means just that the rail is the crowd barrier. So um, just, and, and, you, and you'll see in dubstep, like uh, in, in dubstep festivals, all the kids will grab the rail and then they will just headbang in unison. Yeah, and, and so that's what smashing the rail is. And, and once again, I saw the, the um the similarities between metal and and dubstep and it was like well we headbang and we smash the rail they headbang and they smash the rail um and i and i just saw the crossover basically and so when the song comes out what label is it coming out on uh so this is the first track that we are dropping on blood blast um blood blast distribution which is an imprint of nuclear blast um we have multiple records coming out um with blood blast we have uh the the live ep which this is um a single from we've got um uh, we've got we are the future which is the feature album and we've got a remix a full remix of that album and then we've got an analog remaster of the album as well that's going to be coming all of it coming out on um with Bud Blast um, and yeah and that was put together that introduction was made by uh, the head of Nuclear Blast a and um, and uh, yeah since and it's been great working with them so far I mean it's been a it's been a super easy process just uh, getting things across the line and we're really looking forward to uh, cementing that relationship um, releasing these singles and uh, essentially after this single from this point on we're going to be releasing a single every month for about 15 months so lots to come sweet and so yeah obviously this song is is from that live ep and so can you tell us a bit about the the footage where was this this live video shot uh so this live video so that the ep itself is essentially the soundtrack to a full video that we shot um and the 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 show was basically the one of the first shows back after covid so uh you know we hadn't played a show obviously for about two years um at that stage and essentially just wanted to come back and hit the hometown crowd so we booked out totra um and yeah great it was it was it was was an awesome night but i mean even now as you know like we shot that how long ago now a a year and a half ago Mm. so so it's (laughs) it's already feeling um you know quite old in terms of like seeing the production as it was then and what it is now um but yeah still super proud of like what we accomplished through that through that shoot that's for sure cool and so so dubstep as a genre hmm. obviously other you know, genres of electronic music perhaps are, are more popular nowadays what, what's your thought on the lasting influence of dubstep on popular music i don't know but i do know that dubstep has been around already for about 20 years um and you know it's obviously gone from um like two-step and garage sort of combining with dub elements to form what was originally the uk dubstep into what we now are familiar with which i term as bro step because 
it's uh it's the stuff that like skrillex zomboy um and those and those guys popularized um and like anything i think that you know some some of that sound design is still prevalent in in um in dance music but i think the problem that dubstep had like a lot of uh, trends is that it, it, pop culture got hold of it and just thrashed it and overexposed people to it and the sound itself i don't think was given a chance to develop um it's so i mean dubstep is still massive it's just uh oh. it's just not so much i mean like you look at lost lands and stuff like that they're still pulling i don't know maybe probably who knows like forty thousand people i don't know it's, it's massive um so that it's, it's still it's still highly prevalent it's just not quite in the in the mainstream eye as it once was um mm. but yeah that's my thoughts so you know obviously this this track is a crossover between dubstep and metal what would be a, a good dubstep artist that could be a good entry for, for metal heads to listen to i reckon that all metal heads that have en- that are into any kind of dance music at all or electronic music or even highly processed metal music um check out Su- Su- sullivan king uh he is basically a guitarist that produces guitar like like more traditional metal riffage um sort of metalcore riffage with with big dubstep drops um and he sings uh on his tracks he's he's a phenomenal performer too and so he's actually on stage playing his guitar while he's um, mixing as, as well um he's killer um probably the biggest influence that i've had on our, on our sound is uh excision um he's he's massive um if you even check out the song neck brace by excision you will hear the parallels between smash the rail and and that track and once again the, the song is neck brace and it's about fucking head banging you know um oh. and then uh something that's not 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 dubstep but it's kind of dubstep adjacent and that's mick gordon uh who you may know from doing the um the doom soundtrack and uh prevail to slaughter uh that's the that's the that's what they're called eh? the singer from alex is it alex i think so yeah so and, and he did a, a vocal cover over that and it's that's brutal it's amazing um so check that out too mick gordon um and if you want to get super specific check out the mick gordon the vocal cover it's it's it's, it's killer yeah cool so obviously there's lots coming up for chaos is there, is there anything else specific you can announce yeah we've just uh we've just been working with um with a merch company called merch masters um we've just uh signed a deal with them to start distributing um more of our merch which is which is quite a big deal those guys are um, going to rapidly expand into new zealand and we're stoked to be one of the first business partners um to that, that they've taken on board um, and you, you will see them have a presence at all of our future shows as well. Um, so yeah, I'm super, super hyped about that because, you know, obviously that with streaming these days, um, being worth so little, diminishing physical sales, revenue streams are at all time lows. So like we really have to capitalize as musicians on merchandise and it's good to have finally have a, um, forward thinking, innovative merchandising partner. So that's pretty cool sweet and anything else that's coming up that we want to talk about um so yeah i mean like it's just the shows really so we've got frenzy fest in taranaki on the 22nd of june uh distortion fest in palmerston north on the 26th of august um overload festival at totra street on the 9th of september rail fest in hamilton on the 23rd of september and then in october we're hitting 12 dates across australia and new zealand as part of the new metal mayhem tour with Wayland revis and his colsephony sin soto and piston fist and that's going to be a massive career highlight for all of us i think um yeah 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 well cool well um really appreciate you uh, stopping by mike and uh dropping some questions uh for the release of uh, smash the rail which uh dropped on wednesday um you'll be able to check that out on uh, youtube and so if you're interested in seeing chaosis and seeing what we were about prior to checking us out at any of those shows we mentioned check out the video um because it'll give you a good insight into what we're all about um all right well uh thanks everybody for tuning in again um this has been another chaos's podcast stay heavy Smash the fucking